In 2006, more than 96,000 fires charred nearly 9.9 .9 million acres in the United States and cost a record $1.5 billion to fight. With human life and property at stake, having the right fire truck is critical. In Victorville, California, a converted DC-10 passenger jet called the 10-tanker air carrier claims the title of world's heaviest firefighting jet. The 10-tanker weighs in at 400,000 pounds fully loaded. The wingspan is 150 feet, and max airspeed is 460 miles per hour. We're looking at the tank system, external, three tanks that carry a lot of fluid, 12,000 gallons, aerodynamic tank on each end. The technology was bought from Ericsson Air Crane, comes out through a computer-controlled door down at the bottom, gives you the flow rate you want so that you get the coverage level you need on the ground. As you can see, they're hitched to the airplane with some very heavy structure. The airplane itself had to be modified so that that structure could bolt into a load-carrying area of the airplane. The airplane was designed to have most of the weight inside. We've transferred a lot of the weight outside. The tanks are filled with either water or fire retardant. The retardant is simply water mixed with nitrogen, an effective fire suppressant that's slow to evaporate. Because the liquid is a dense 9.3 pounds per gallon, a full 12,000 gallon load weighs in at a staggering 60 tons. Getting that hefty payload airborne requires immense thrust. We've got three engines, each of which developed 40-some thousand pounds of thrust. And at the weights we're flying, in this case under 400,000 pounds, you get a very favorable thrust to weight ratio, even with a full load of retardant, which exceeds 100,000 pounds. The 10 tanker is the newest heavy lifter on the scene. But for the past half century, a wide assortment of aerial fire trucks has shouldered the load. That included many surplus World War II bombers and transports converted to firefighters in the late 1940s. By the 1960s, a variety of tanker aircraft built specifically to fight fires took over. Helicopters using buckets that could refill quickly from lakes or reservoirs became a favorite tool in the wildfire wars. California's 10 tanker is the heavy hitter many firefighters look to. When the crew is on call, the DC-10 can be filled and launched in less than an hour. It then approaches the firefighters and helps create a control line from which they battle an advancing wildfire. The air tanker itself doesn't put out fires. There's not an air tanker around that will, especially on large fires. But what this does is it allows them to work very closely to the line. They can build line, they can reinforce it. The pilot can control the density of the drop by adjusting altitude and varying the width of the opening on the tank doors. A typical 12,000 gallon drop from 250 feet covers an unbroken swath that's approximately 50 feet wide and three quarters of a mile long. To build a stronger, denser line, a pilot can increase flow rate for a swath that's approximately half a mile long. We can do it in a matter of minutes and seconds that it would take us hours to do with other aircraft. The DC-10 represents yet another attempt to apply extreme aircraft solutions to solve earthly problems.